Hi, in this short video we are going to demonstrate CloudBerry Backup 2.5.1 for macOS and Linux. So the highlight of this release is unquestionably the support for block-level backup. Now, as you may know, the regular backup process in CloudBerry Backup implies that whenever you modify a file, it is going to be entirely re-uploaded to the backup storage during subsequent backups. That is clearly inefficient because if you have some 10 GB database that you want to update with a single entry, the entire database will be re-uploaded to the backup storage and that's going to take a lot of time and so it just doesn't make any sense to upload 99% of this database because it's essentially the same as it was during the previous backup. A much better approach here would be to upload only the modified parts of this file and thereby reduce the upload times and the upload volumes which would, re which would result in uh, much faster backups and uh, better overall performance. And that is exactly what block level backup is. Essentially, it allows you to perform the initial backup of a particular file and during subsequent backup executions, only the modified parts of this file will be re-uploaded to the backup storage. So how do you enable block level backup? Now, this feature is disabled by default, but you can enable it in the backup wizard. So when you create a new plan, you go to the uh, second step of the wizard, which is plan name. And here you can select the use block level backup checkbox. Now you should continue through the backup wizard and and eventually you will reach the full schedule step where you can schedule a full backup for your files that are uploaded using the block level mechanism. It's important that you perform a full backup of your files every now and then to ensure that you can apply retention policy to older versions of your file. So we recommend you do at least a weekly full backup for all of your files. Maybe it could be done on Monday at, I don't know, 2 a.m. or something like that. But obviously during the week, all of the modifications will be uploaded without the entire file. And so you can just continue setting up the plan. And when you're done, you can execute it and it will perform the initial backup of your files. And if you launch this plan for the second time or for the third time, it'll only upload the modified versions of the selected files. However, every week CloudBerry Backup will ensure that your files are being entirely re-uploaded to ensure proper retention policy application in the future. Uh, so this is pretty much it for this video. You can check out CloudBerry Backup 2.5.1 for macOS and Linux. Uh, it's already available on our website. You can download it. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.